Hi developers, I'm Hossein Dilia, Microsoft MVP. In this video, we'll learn how to implement Stack Panel in Xamarin Forms applications. Stack Panel is a UI control that enables us to add multiple items on multiple lines. We see the demo of this app right here, where we have an entry, the user can enter some um, items or some text, click the add button and that item will be added to the stack panel UI control. You see that here in each time the user adds a new item if that um, item doesn't fit inside the, um, the, the first line then a new line will be added to the stack panel. So let's learn how to implement this feature in Visual Studio. I switch to Visual Studio in Windows and go and create a new cross-platform Xamarin Forms application. Hit OK, then choose the portable class library. Once the application is created, we'll go and install that stack panel which is available as a NuGet package. So we go to the portable class library project and select manage NuGet packages, hit browse and look for a plugin called plugin.forms stack panel. Here it is our plugin. Let's install it. Okay. The plugin just added a, a directory called controls which contains a class called stack panel and stack panel contains the implementation of our uh, stack panel shown in the demo. So it inherits from a grid so that we can add it to our user interface. And it contains some simple tags which will be shown by default in the page. Of course, you can go and change uh, those. And then at the constructor of the stack panel, we do have an entry and a button so that the user can enter the item he wants, then click the button to add that item to the uh, stack panel. And here we do have the click it event for the button, which will go and execute the add tag async, which we'll see later. Then we do have the main elements for our stack panel, which are here this child stack and the parent stack. Actually here the stack panel is constructed of a parent stack which is a vertical stack and this vertical stack contains a child stack. A child stack is uh, an horizontal stack layout. So our parent stack will which is a vertical stack will contain some horizontal stack layouts so that whenever the user adds an item it will be added to the child stack and if the child stack become or doesn't uh, cannot add other items those items will be added to another horizontal stack layout and this is the logic implemented right here at the method add tag async. So we get that tag as a parameter. We create our item, which is here uh, a button. Then we'll go and add that button to our child stack, to the first child stack. Then we'll go and delay for uh, 950 milliseconds. Uh, this delay is added so that we can measure the width of the button because we'll need that uh, width in order to calculate the width of all the items so that they do not um, be greater to the width of the horizontal stack layout. We verify that width and if it's bigger than the width of the uh, parent stack layout, we'll go and remove that item from the current stack and create another stack and put the button inside that stack. And that's done through the uh, those operation remove button and add button to the uh, parent uh, stack. And here another thing we are doing is that we are um, 
adding the stack layout to the parent stack. And here we are adding a copy of that stack layout because we will reuse the child stack another time to uh, add the other items. So in each time, it's like we are creating another stack layout. We put the items of the child stack layout in this one, then we add it to our parent stack. Then we'll measure the new with child stack for the newly created st uh, horizontal stack layout. And we do here have a method for copying uh, or for creating a copy of uh, the child stack layout. Here it's just getting all the properties of the child stack layout. And it copies also the children UI views of that uh, children stack layout. So this is the main implementation of our class, the stack panel, and then we can use it in our main page or in our Xamarin forms pages. We can use it either from the code behind from C sharp by calling here our content page equal new stack panel, for example. We can either do that or also we can use it from the XAML code. So here from the XAML code, in order to use that class, we call the XML namespace and call it controls, for example, equal forms stack panel, because here our, um, our stack panel lives inside the namespace forms stack panel. So we need to import that namespace in our XAML code and that's simply by calling XMLNS controls equal X, uh, CLR namespace and then add that namespace. Then instead of showing this as default label in XAML forms pages, we'll go and use the controls to display our stack panel. And that simply is then that stack panel is added to your page and it has the entry and the button to add elements. In addition to that, it have the functionality implemented with every button, which is here removing the item whenever you uh, click on it. This plugin is available on uh, nuget.org because uh, it's um, a NuGet package and it's also available on uh, GitHub. So I hope this uh, demo was helpful for you and thank you.